Straight off of Rockstar's official Twitter, new Grand Auto Online After Hours vehicles still to come, including the Pegasi Oppressor Mark II Flying Hyperbike, the Benefactor Terabyte with drone and new client jobs, the B-11 Strike Force Heavy Support, and the rocket-powered Declassy Scramjet. Most of us already know that these vehicles are going to be drip-fed over the next few weeks or months. The question we must ask ourselves is why did Rockstar decide to make this announcement? Most likely to continue the hype regarding After Hours to keep people interested as well as combat the leaks courtesy of Foxy Snap and others. To be honest, too little too late, right? Because we already know that these vehicles are coming in the game. We don't exactly know when, but we know that they're coming. And better yet, we actually have price tags. In case you're wondering, let's go with the price tags again, thanks to Foxy Snaps. So the Strike Force, a lot of people believe the Strike Force might be coming as early as tomorrow. If it is, I'll definitely cover it early in the morning along with the Dixon mission because we're going to be go, going to pick up Dixon. He's coming to Los Santos to jam in our club. So that's happening early tomorrow morning on the channel. The B-11 Strike Force, a.k.a. the A-10 Warthog, may be coming tomorrow. It may be coming next week or two weeks from now. We'll see. Its price tag will be $3.8 million. Eventually, we're going to be getting both the Terabyte and the Mark II Oppressor. I think these two vehicles will be coming out at the same time. The terabyte is the big truck that's going to have the drones and have some, I guess, missions, new client missions, and your contact will be the lovely Paige Harris. Oh yeah. So drones and a really cool like a weapon missile battery system that's going to allow you to lock onto like five targets at once. Pretty sweet. The uh, base cost for the terabyte is going to be 1.3 million dollars, and the oppressor Mark II. The only way you can customize and upgrade the oppressor Mark II is with the terabyte so that's why i think that the oppressor mark ii will be coming out at the same time as the terabyte and the price for the oppressor ranges from 2.9 million to 3.8 million probably depends on your cell in the uh, nightclub so how many cell missions you do will probably determine whether or not it gets unlocked sooner or later and you get the discounted price the next vehicle that was featured was the scramjet its price range is 3.4 million to 4.6 million. Yes, Speed Racer is coming to Grand Theft Auto Online. A lot of us already knew this. Now, it's kind of a combination of the Ruiner 2000 and the Vigilante. It can jump just like the Ruiner. It has rockets, it has machine guns. It also has a boost to it similar to the Vigilante and the Rocket Voltic. The other vehicle that was not mentioned in the uh, post by Rockstar via their Twitter is the Menacer. That's going to be $1.7 million. Along with the final locked vehicle over at Legendary, the Camus Free Crawler Off-Road SUV. This, it looks like a it's a four, it says it's a four-seater, so I guess it's a four-seater, even though it looks like a two-seater. It's going to be about $600,000 now. I get the feeling that Rockstar didn't include the Free Crawler and the menacer is because most people are not really too excited or hyped for the free crawler or the menacer a lot of people are really wanting the strike force or the oppressor mark ii the terabyte or the scramjet which explains why rockstar is promoting all those vehicles in this tweet that they sent out a few minutes ago so you know the price tags we have no idea when they're coming chances are next on the list will be the strike force aka the a10 whether it comes out tomorrow remains to be seen let me know below in the comment section which of these drip fed vehicles from after hours are you most excited for